commonly asked questions we get here at the BHA is, how can I become a homeowner? There are countless pathways to homeownership. We are proud to offer our tenant-based voucher families a pathway to homeownership through our homeownership voucher program. Through this program, tenant-based voucher holders convert their existing voucher to a homeownership voucher. This conversion allows the BHA to use the money that would normally be paid to the landlord instead to be used to pay towards your mortgage. There are a few requirements needed in order to apply for this program. Let's review them next. Hi, my name is Alex and I'm one of the FSS coordinators in the lease housing department. I'm here to explain some of the requirements of the BHA's home ownership voucher program. If you can answer yes to the following five questions, then the home ownership program may just be for you. One, are you a BHA voucher holder? Two, is your credit score at least 650? Three, have you taken a first time home buyer's class? Four, do you have 3% for your down payment of which 1% came from your own funds? The other 2% may be gifted to you. Five, have you been pre-qualified by a mortgage lender? If you answer yes to these five questions, you may just be ready to take advantage of this great program. Please use our self-assessment tool on this website to determine if you meet the eligibility requirements. Now, if you're not quite ready and need to work on any of the steps, please consider joining the VHA's FSS program, where you will have the opportunity to work with our partners at Compass Working Capital towards all of your financial goals, including home ownership. As Alex said, participants for the home ownership voucher program have to be tenant-based voucher holders that have completed a first-time home buyer's class. Also, in order to be pre-qualified for a mortgage, most banks require a minimum credit score of at least 650. You must have at least 3% of the purchase price of a home available for a down payment. At least 1% of this money must come from your own funds. This means that the other 2% can be gifted to you or come from down payment assistance programs. Now let's hear from one of our most recent FSS program graduates and homeownership voucher participants, Tori. About five years ago, I decided to become a homeowner and get serious about preparing for a homeownership. And at the time, being a single mom of two, um, living in Boston, I wasn't sure how to start saving, how to fix my credit, which was not good at the time. And upon that, I decided to sit down with my BHA advisor and she referred me to the FSS program. Once I got into the program, I was then assigned to an advisor that specialized with the program. And from there, we began to discuss resources and steps taken to home ownership. The program was very prominent in helping me understand credit, understanding savings, and understanding what it takes to not only own a home, but to maintain a home. Um, things that I learned about credit, more so credit to debt ratio, that it was important to get collections paid. That is something the banks do look at. Um, I was also advised how to save, how much to save realistically. And uh, there was an escrow account also open for me to help save, which was a great surprise because once I put down my down payment and my closing costs, I had a little bit of extra funds to use towards other things. And then being able to convert my renter's voucher into a home ownership voucher was very helpful because especially when you're coming into the home ownership by yourself for the first time, it's good to have um, some assistance and guidance. So income, credit, and savings, those are the three biggest things you need for a home ownership. So as discussed with credit, you work on that. Savings, you work on that. Income, if you need skills or there's some skills that you want to improve that's something you want to mention to your fss program advisor so that you can can begin the journey of um getting a better job a better paying job to increase your income um that's very important when i sat down with my advisor i explained to her that i first i she had to explain to me what kind of income i needed let me start there so she talked to me about if you want to purchase this home for this amount, if you're approved, then you probably need to make this type of income. I expressed to her that I was interested in a particular industry 
and she referred me to some colleges and she referred me to uh, some programs that I can look into to um, start that journey of improving my skills. Upon graduation, I was able to obtain a job in the industry in less than a year. Well, once I got to a place of credit and savings and income as well, um, I was referred to the MAHA program to uh, sit down and um, be a part of the First Time Home Buyers program. And through that program is where I learned the importance of having a team, which includes your lender, your lawyer, your inspector, your insurance agent, so on and so forth. And uh, once I was able to understand those things and gather my team, I was able to start the process of looking for a home.